Pom 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 pom. Pom 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 pom. Doctor, you know how busy your schedule is today, yes? Yes. Hello. Welcome back to Arc Knights. Um, this video, I will be pushing forward in the event more. Okay, weird. It was crackling. I, uh. I made more stuff in Resources this, obviously. So I have more power plants in another factory, another dormitory. I upgraded the reception room, I'm pretty sure. So, like, I. Well, actually, let's see. Let's see what you guys gave me today. Six and three. Thank you. Uh, six. Nice. Unlock exchange. There you go. My clues to some people. Boom. Let's do that one. Let's go to the end. Uh, there. Uh, there. There you go. Clues are sent out. <laughs> okay. I wonder if the people at Rhodes Island are nice. Why is she so sad? I might need to restart the game before I do anything important. Because it keeps crackling for me, and I don't know if it's crackling for the recording. So I'm going to restart the game. Okay, we're back. It stopped crackling, so hopefully it doesn't do that again. Now let's get straight into what we have to do then. Uh, I actually have 400 of these, so let's buy another Herald Shard. Arctos. Ugh. What happened? What's with all the empty bottles on the floor? Odd. Why was I even sleeping here? Rosalind, you're a good kid. Arctos, you disgrace. Dad? Hey, huh? What did you wake me up for? Get an old man nap in peace. No, hold on, I... Dad, when did you get home? Why didn't you tell? let me know that you were coming? What happened yesterday? How did we end up sleeping on the floor? Quit your yapping, it's giving me a headache. <laughs> Sir, master. I'm so glad you're both finally awake. Gulo, what happened here? The two of you got drunk and didn't even want to stop drinking, and our efforts to convince you to return to your rooms to sleep were in vain. I can only feed you two more batches of firewood, so I can only feed two more batches of firewood to the furnace, so it wouldn't get too cold in here. Sir, do you not remember what happened yesterday? I right. wait. Let me think. Yesterday, yesterday. I remember. I was to prepare the banquet to celebrate the completion of Cherigander's statue. The Saintist asked me to select the best drinks Cherry had to offer. Uh, so I was tasting them one by one. And then after that, I don't remember much. <laughs> of course you don't. You were so drunk you couldn't tell people apart. You even tried to toast to a pillar while hugging it. At your age, what an embarrassment. Enough, Dad. <laughs> Enough, Father. Was I not doing what the Saintist? Doing it for the Saintist. Gulo's still here. And could you ease up on the scolding before I lose any more respect? I always thought you respected something you earned from your, on your own. So why are you asking me, <laughs> me to leave any for you? Forget it. I'll bicker with you no longer. Gulo, where's Rosalind? She went up the mountain first thing in the morning, Master. What? She woke up early while both of you were still sleeping, and she said to let you sleep a while longer. I thought the same, so I didn't wake you. I guess it's fine for her to just leave like that. Perhaps it's Sharagander's plan for the polar rushes. They met. They didn't realize, so I guess this means that it's not meant to be. In indeed. What are you riddling about now, Dad? I vaguely remember a young girl coming here yesterday, but I didn't drink too much. I just can't remember what she looked like. You said her name was Rosalind. Hmm. Arctos, come here. I should not hide this from you, same as you made your own choice back then. What should be done next is ultimately up to you. By Garagonder. Three generations really drank the night away. 
Even dragged me in with the other guards, too. Ugh. It's been a long time since I drank that much. I didn't get any business done at all. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was him. Since going roundabout didn't work, let's just go head on. Judging by the direction, Rosalind probably went up the mountain. Where's the music? <laughs> ah. Sus. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is one of those snowy mountains. It's even more spectacular up close. Carrig's mountains sure are impressive. Oh, I'm a little dizzy. Really went overboard in drinks last night. None of those guys are awake yet. Why didn't Doctor tell me how enthusiastic Carrig people can be? Should give them something as thanks when I get down the mountain later. Sheesh, it's freezing. The wind's pretty painful. If I remember right, you're supposed to climb up this mountain on your own to prove your fate to Karagander? It's really tall. But since I'm already here, I might as well try. That's funny. Oh my god, I have a tickle in my nose again, and it's awful. Huh? That was weird. The purest air from up the mount the purest air from up in the mountains? Sounds pretty good to me. Do you take cards here? Alright then. Give me two boxes. Send them to the Burden Peak Hotel, room 606. You got it! Whoa, Sophia, you're buying even more stuff? Did you buy four boxes of mountain spring water yesterday? How are we going to bring it all back? Don't be silly. Who says we have to bring them home ourselves? I'll send a box each to Mlynar and Margaret. Margaret! I probably don't haven't even bought any enough yet. Any enough yet. Carrig's. <laughs> Carrig's water er, air and water are plenty impressive. The Black Knight came here a good long while ago, so she should be living pretty well now. All right, enough of that. I mean, I hear you climb Carrig's mountain by yourself as a show of devotion. Come on, let's get climbing. Then do men they do mention as much Jesus Christ. They do mention as much in the travel brochure. Let's see who can reach the summit first, Sophia. Why, why didn't you tell them we have a cable car that goes up the mountain? Ho ho ho. The tourists have their own ideas. Who am I to tell them otherwise? Fair enough. Seems like tourists are the only ones who like to climb these days. They're right, though. Come, let's go take the cable car. Really? Don't Karagander see that as a lack of faith? Nonsense. Karagander granted us the convenience because she loves her people. Insisting on climbing would show a lack of faith in Karagander. Huh? What do you mean, huh? We're all Karagander's children. As long as you show respect to her, as long as you respect her and keep her in your heart, she'll protect all of us. Sweet tea. Whew. You can actually ride a cable car up the mountain? Why are the tourist spots the same everywhere? I'd better follow the locals. Even though I don't know what it means to have faith in Karagander at all, but Karagander must be protecting Charon. <sighs> Karagander must be protecting Karag. Judging by those things are going? What? What? Judging by how things are going? Okay. Hey, old man in front, can you tell me where to get the cable card tickets? Thanks for pointing the way. That's funny. Lazy. Just pop my neck. Sir, please hold on. Who are you? What's with the getup? A reporter from Victoria, you see. Yeah, with a minigun. People <laughs> praise the Karagon to statue. But surely building it must have been a waste of resources. I'm currently collecting some... Get lost. My son who works on the statue sends me money every month. And even calls me to tell me how good work is over there. You foreigners are just salty. <laughs> salty about how wonderful our Karag is. Then why hasn't he returned? He has signed some agreement, so he has to stay there. What was it again? Non-disclosure. <laughs> Do you need an NDA to build a statue? Hmm. 
I'm warning you, foreigner. Any more guff out of you and <laughs> I'll give you a taste of my walking stick. Huh? Where'd they go? Hmm. What is it built out of that's making everyone... That was a really pretty mountain background. Hmm. 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 Praise Karagander. Brave bird and beast, brave people. Karagander guides us to protect our homeland. Hmm. 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 The snow here doesn't seem right. Ow! Careful. Oh! There's a trap down there. You alright? Oh, Madam Degenbrecker. Where did this hole come from? That Riley must have dug it out to catch game. Many, many thanks. I would have fallen down the hole if it weren't for you. You're welcome. Do you have a business on the mountain today, Madam? Anything we can help you with? I have plans with Riley, Leon, and the other guys to go up the mountain today. Just let us know if you need anything. I have a bit of work to do, but I'll be fine on my own. Are you an old Riley still drinking with the Victorians? Yeah. We've been <laughs> competing to see who can drink more, and it's a tie at the, mount at the moment. Wow, but none of us are giving up because it'd be an embarrassment to for Master Enciodes and the Saintus if we lost to those Victorians. Also, they just suddenly came in here instead of camp. What do you think is going on? I have no proper education, but even I know a sudden flood of people here, all hale and healthy even, can't possibly be a good thing. That's why Riley and I were thinking we could keep an eye on them for Sir Enciodes with the drinking at the very least. So don't worry, we'll definitely win. Fine. It would be great if you could drink them until they puke. Just call me if you can't. Don't push yourselves. Did you decide to watch the Victorians on your own? <laughs> we thought it up with the other villagers. All of us agreed to do it. We've been living much better these days, and since we know how good things can be, we're not going to let anyone ruin it for us. But madam, I should be honest with you. Just don't get angry with me. Sure, go on. I just wanted to say, these Victorians we've been drinking with... We've come to know them pretty well over the past month, and brushing the other stuff aside, they aren't bad guys. They don't cause too much trouble, even when drunk. And sometimes, they come over to help with work. There's a guy with bones as old as mine. He only goes a little mad when he's drunk, but he doesn't do much other than strip off his clothes to try to swim in the snow. I saw his back then. It was a bad shape. I don't know what he has suffered, but it hurts to even look at. It hurts to think about now. Might as well tell you this. A Victorian Viscount has been come to join the celebrations. Has come to join the celebrations for Yergander's statue. And had brought his personal army along. Most of them are veterans who have been fighting alongside him for a long time. Oh. There's no need to think too much. Just enjoy your drinks together. Ugh. I don't get it. What's the difference between a personal and regular army? But they did look far mo far from young, and they did a few of them seem to have stones growing on their bodies. That should be a, the uh, stone disease I've seen in the news before. Oropathy. Most of the time, nothing happens when you come in contact with it, so you needn't be too worried. But you should still take some precautions. You can go to Rhodes Island's office in the city or the newly built hospital for information on how to protect yourself. That we know, so don't worry, madam. But I am. I just wanted to have a chat with you anyways. I wouldn't be dare to serve Sir Encios or Sir Gnosis. Oh? You're saying I look idle? idle? No, that's not what I mean. I mean them sirs are busy with their big projects all day long, so it'd be no good to serve them. You help us out regularly, when even though you're so busy too. We know you're the, on the same side as us. You're one of us. One of you. Wait, no. I mean, those sirs are our people too. I, I, I'm bad with words, but you know what I mean. Am I wasting your time, madam? It's fine. There's something I need to trouble you. There's something I need to trouble you and the rest of the mountain for. Just say the word. Help me find a pretentious Victorian. A what? He wears a top hat, a black coat, and with a collar covering his face. Some gemstones, too. It's easy to spot such a conspicuous figure. What's this fella doing the sort of outfit in Carrig? Who knows? 
Probably something stupid. All right, leave it to us. I'll send over old Leona's Verdant Beast the moment we get any news. <laughs> oh? Are you serious, Dad? The girl yesterday, she's she's Rosalind, my daughter? I knew it. I fucking knew it. I doubt I'm wrong. The girl just looks just like you and Tatiana, too. Her eyes... Or my eyes are still good enough. I'm not wrong. Really? My daughter? <laughs> I did say she was a good kid. Good stature and character, even. Wonderful. Rosalind. Rosalind. She looks like me? Yes, like me. I remember now. She has the same hair color. Her eyes and mouth are Tatiana's. Especially her eyes. They're exactly the same. So pretty. Time flies. Little Rosalind has already grown so big in just a blink of an eye. Wait, did she go up the mountain? When is she coming back? Will she come back? Arctaz, there's something else. We can talk about that later. I have to prepare some gifts for my daughter. I remember she loved baked sweet cheese and beast stew when she was little, so I'm off to buy some now. Tatiana, is she here too? Does she want to see me? Then I... I... Alright. No matter. I'll head straight up the mountain and give them to Rosalind. And then I'll ask her about Tatiana. Arctaz! What is it? I need to hurry! Stop right there! Criminal scum. Just stay. You need to hear this. Arctaz stops in his tracks from his father's yelling, and an ill omen stirs uncontrollably in his heart. Perhaps it's his hangover, but a sudden headache descends on him. His stomach seems to drop to the floor, and his back feels as if something cold is creeping up on him. Only now does Arctaz realize his father's back, which he has not seen in a long time, is slightly stooped, like a wilting tree, no longer tall and upright as he remembered. With a dry and aged voice of the devotee continues, undeterred by Arctaz's panic. Rosalind told me she and her mother have been living in Ursus since they left. She was too young to remember anything of this place. She said she never knew who her father was all the time she grew up. And this time, she's not. She's here not only to see our Karagander statue, but also she brought back her mother's remains. Ill omens always seem to bear out. <clears throat> the wind and snow roaring outside their home, the flames flickering inside the furnace, and even their indistinguishable breathing all seem to freeze for a moment. What? Remains? What do you mean? But, but Tatiana was so young, how could she... I don't believe it. How can that be? I heard it from the girl myself. What happened back then? It was Clan Paul Roche that failed mother and daughter. I carry the shame in my heart, but not regret. What about you, Arctaz? I... Mine doesn't matter what you want to say, there's no point telling me. Your father is no perfect man, nor a saint, and certainly not the victim here. This old man is too old to hear you out, let alone offer any advice. I only wish to spend the rest of my days sweeping the dust in Karagander's feet. But you should think carefully. Tatiana, Rosalind. Sir, Master. Matriarch Rotatos is here. She says there's something urgent to discuss. Urgent. Oh. Oh, it's her. Ugh, the place reeks of booze. The ceremony's tomorrow, Octaz. Don't you drink too much and ruin it all. I'm in no mood to play with you. Just tell me what happened. You're not the types of any social calls, Rotatos. <laughs> you sure know me well. Uh, fine, I'll get straight to the point, Arctaz. I came here to tip you off. I still recall that you married an Ursine woman, despite your family's objections, and even had a child with her. Something happened to the Silver Ashes, and soon after your wife left Cherig to with daughter in tow. This affair was kept within the Tri-Clans, but it is no secret to us. <laughs> I see your nose is as sharp as ever. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm here to tell you about your daughter, the girl named Rosalind. What the fuck? Weird. What happened to her? You better not be taking advantage of the situation. She has nothing to do with our clan's business. I'm not here to settle any old scores, but her untimely return is really unfortunate. Do you know where she is right now? She's probably already in the sights of the Victorian spy.
Uh oh. <laughs> Finally. But the cable car only goes up this far, and I have to climb the rest myself? Well, someone isn't that far away anyway. I could still see a few tourists earlier. Well, now there's no one else around. White everywhere. Sheesh, it's a little scary. Huh? How oh, unlucky. What was that? Ever since I came to Kerrig, not a single thing has gone smoothly. Who's that? C come out! Don't even think of scare me! Is that a hole? Who would be so bored as to dig a hole by the trail? No, this can't just be a hole. It's a trap! Sure enough, a trap indeed. Watch your step, madam. Also, if it's not too much of a bother, can I trouble you to pull me up? That's crazy. So, the Trilby Asher fell into the trap that Degenbrecker made? All right. All medicine has been prepared. None of these emergency heaters are operating. We need to use them. Mountain beasts. Okay. Luckily, we brought some flint in advance and we need to strike it to get the next active. Okay. But be careful when lighting it up. We, if we thaw the ice, these burdened beasts will... They're stuck in the wick and bother us. Okay. I mean, let's... Start with Can her. your eyes keep up? Enemy spotted. It'll be nice if they entered single file like the oh, knights shit, do that. Wait. Uh, <laughs> let's uh <laughs> do it the smarter way. <sighs> I just realized I put her outside the range of the heater. Good. I suppose you've already got a plan. Okay. Okay. Boom. Oh, okay. Who should I put there? I can see their souls. They're mine to reap. Oh, okay. It's just a normal soldier, so it's not going too bad. Uh a new challenge. Shank, 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 shank. Uh let's do you. Please there. hold on. Stop them now. Okay. Uh, let's light this and put Degenbrecker here. How soon do you want them gone? In the tank behind On standby. her. Okay. So far, so good. Oh no. Wait, what do you do when you're? You want my opinion? Still solving yourself in the past? Awaiting your old fire. Instructions. Feels bad to lose your target, doesn't it? Okay. Um. Shit. Follow me. Charging. Rock and roll. Understood. You want my oh, emotion is meaningless here. Nice. Still my emotion. Second record. Second record. Come on. Go ahead. Out of my way. You want my conviction will throw you up. Fuck! I hate that range guy. There is no Your attacks have no come on! Let's pick up the pace! Oh? What's that burden beast doing? You want my conviction will throw you off pace. Oh that it? Wait, did I win? Okay, I mean shoot it. I did evolve or promote my Amiya, by the way. Yeah, she's promoted level 20 now. You want much still solving yourself in the past? Any instructions for me? Charging. Mission accomplished. I killed a burden beast. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> uh grab my hand. <laughs> ah! Alright. <sighs> we met on the train back there, but I never imagined you'd save my life here. How unfortunate, or how fortunate, for you to be here to lend me a hand. Who knows how long I'd be stuck in there otherwise. Thank you very, very much for your altruistic assistance, Madame Rosalind Tatyanovna Lorena. <laughs> what a name. Uh, well, wasn't much. Don't mention it. You definitely don't look like a local. So I'm guessing you're a tourist going up the mountain? Precisely. 
So why didn't you follow the main road instead of falling into a pitfall out here in the forest? What were you going to do if I didn't happen to pass by? I was merely attracted by the scenic view and didn't expect to run into a trap like this in the snow. If you hadn't happened by... If you hadn't happened by, perhaps I would have... Stay here for a while longer. I'd call myself first. And then, before figuring out how to climb out myself. Wow, that was an awful sentence for me to read. But now, I see how fortunate I am. Hmm. Madame Lorena. Madame Lorena, are you going to continue your journey up the mountain? Huh? Yeah, I am. We could travel together for a while, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like to admire the view of Carrig's Mountains from the summit as well. Sure. I don't mind. Let's go. We still have a long way to the top. That was... Riley. I just checked our traps and saw a pitfall collapse. Pitfall collapse. Thought we caught something, but when I took a look... Took a look! <laughs> there was nothing inside. Guessing it might have escaped. You see the man who passed by earlier? Doesn't he look like the guy Tyrael's asked us to look out for? You mean the one Degenbrecher asked us to find? All dressed in black, pretentious looking, wearing a hat, and hiding his face? No doubt about it. Come, let's hurry back and tell Degenbrecher. Hey, uh, say, I still don't know your name. Aren't you guys pretty particular? Particular about, uh, introducing yourselves when you first meet? An oversight on my part. You may call me John Smith. What a fake ass name. <laughs> or anything you prefer. John? The name John Smith. What do you think of it? it? Sounds right out of a spy movie I watched with the doctor. Yeah, that was definitely the name of the spy guy. I remember he had a really pretty sidekick too. So John, you... Never mind. Come up to this makeout point all alone it means you're definitely single. Fascinating coincidence, right? All right, <laughs> let's get back on track. I figure we still have a while to go before the summit. I heard it gets colder the higher you go, and it's pretty hard. To, it gets pretty hard to breathe too. So you tired yet? Need a break? Please don't worry about me. Do you need to rest, Madame Lorena? Nah, I'm good. Got some real stamina, huh, Mr. Spy? <laughs> John Smith. <laughs> it changed his name from Trilby Asher to John Smith. Seems like you really deceived him. I fabricated no lies, Degan Brecker. There's no slipping your average falsehoods by a Trilby Asher collecting information for his duke. But I'm fully aware that these types usually know suspicion best. The heir to the Paula Roche clan has secretly returned to the country is a reality he first discovered by himself, so he'll believe it. And will definitely be watching Rosalind Tatyanovna to Larina. Okay, I'm not going to even try that again. Your guesses are always right. The girl's already on the mountain, and Rotados has contacted Arctaz. I hear tell that the Trilby Asher is also on his way up. He's hiding from me. No matter. Just make sure he remains focused on the girl. It's time for you to move as well. Fine. I'll treat it as a after meal exercise. However, after are you sure that the doctor won't mind you letting a Trilby Asher close to the girl? He's a spy, not an assassin. What's he at what he's after is information, not a life. Is that how you plan to explain it to the doctor? <laughs> the doctor, I shall offer my apologies. You certainly owe them. How I act is unimportant. Rather, I'm more curious. Degenbrecker, you remember the doctor? Sharp's a good opponent. Strong, stronger than most of those clumsy knights. Clumsy knights. There's no harm in nothing. And Jesus. There's no harm in noting down someone who has the respect of a warrior like that and can also make you suffer. You're curious about the doctor? You could put it that way. All right, that'll chat or stops here. I'm going to work. Well, I mean, she already joined my team, so. <laughs> Hurrah! We're finally here. Woo! 
We must have climbed a few hours. I'm beat. No wonder everyone just quits halfway. That was exhausting. Though, the view up here is really pretty. Isn't that lake still over there? <laughs> the Karagonder statue looks smaller than my thumb from up here. He's like, <gasps> <laughs> like, so freezes over in the winter and resembles a pure clear gemstone when viewed from this peak. As such, the locals here believe the lake is a precious stone bestowed by Karagonder. Truly a view you can only see from this such a height. It does look like a gem. Oh, you can even see the station over there. Uh huh. There's actually plenty of railroads in Karag. But the trains all look like toys from here. I wouldn't call this plenty for a country that's still developing. It might seem like a lot, but that's because Sil Lake Silver and the Karagonder statue are here. There might be more roads around Carlin. There might be more roads around Carlin uh, currently, but the operating lines will all pass through and transfer here. They will, won't they? Hey, John, you still with us? I need a favor. Can you help me see if there are two trees growing into each other, into each other around here? They should be old, with intertwining branches, and they look pretty strange too. It would be my pleasure. Appreciate it. You know, John, aren't you curious why I'm looking for those trees? Or what I'm doing up here on the mountain? I molded over and decided to handle things the old-fashioned way. What? Fess up and don't move. What is the meaning of this, Madame Lorena? You're not supposed to say that line yet. I haven't even done anything to you. Spit it out, though. You've been following me for ages, just following. What are you after? I don't understand. Quit playing dumb. I don't remember telling you my name. This is a misunderstanding. You know the Viscount Harold Craigavon and I have history together. It was he who told me your name. Oh? You think I'm stupid? I never told him my full name either. And you managed to climb up the summit without taking a single break. There's no way you could have fallen into the simple hunter's trap. Even if you did, you could have just climbed out. Anna and the girl. Anna and the girls always tell <laughs> me to think before I act. But I have to say... Sometimes there's no use in thinking too much either. You're much more careful than I expected, Madel Madame Lorena. So you admit it? John Smith is probably a fake name too, right? Too, right? Maybe you really are a spy. What if I said yes? You'd be pretty bad at your job. Because even though I could tell something was up, your accusation is absolutely correct. It's true. I've been quite careless, and life in Carrick has made me so. I have considerable freedom here, and there aren't many who pose a threat to me. Ha! Look at you talk. I'm warning you, you better behave, and don't move an inch. You're standing on the edge of a cliff, and there's nothing but snow under your feet. I just have to stop my feet to tend you falling, and I can't promise I'll catch you if that happens. Alright, Madam Lorena, I'll come clean. Yesterday, Victorian scum! Uh-oh! Arctos! <laughs> Arctos is here, you stay away from her! Whoa, where did, where did you come from? Uh, uh, wait, watch your footfalls. The snow. What? Rosalind, grab my... It's somewhat funny, but Arctos is clearly charging towards me. Could Rosalind really have come here for something? No matter. He's coming and I can only jump. The Black Knight. All rested up? Not yet. That's not good. You'll be less fun in the fight. Going straight into it? Problem with that? I'll get straight to my point too then. You convinced the Viscount that everything on the train was a misunderstanding. I was only half convinced at the time. But now, I know that even the stately Black Knight tells lies. The only That only proves that you don't know me at all. There's still time to turn around and go down the mountain for a nice lunch. I'm sorry, but I tend to throw myself fully into my work. But we still can't let our guard down. Did I almost level? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I'm 8 experience off of leveling. Is the next thing a boss fight? No, not even. Level 50? Dun, 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 dun. Holy shit. 
21 for one try? Bump, 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 Bum 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 RS5. Um, it's been confirmed that Arctaz is Rosalind's dad, even though I had suspicion the whole time. Um, and that the Trilby Asher really is following her as well. Uh, that was crazy to find out. Okay. That was crazy to find out that the Trilby Asher was actually following Rosalind the whole time. Um, it kind of was, like, said a little bit before, but, like, now it's been confirmed. Um. Yeah, that's some crazy shit. Uh. Other than that, though, not much else to say, so. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I'd love to have you around. Um. If you wanted to support the channel some more, I have my Ko-Fi account. Uh, if you want to check that out, I will be posting thumbnails there early, whenever... I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'll just post thumbnails early. It's usually about an hour, because it takes me a while to make the thumbnail itself, because I always second guess how I should make it look. And I also have a Discord channel. Um, I'm going to start putting the Discord channel in the description as well, but it is also on the main channel. Like, if you open up the channel and go to the description, it should just be right there. Um, yeah. That's it for me, though, so you better have a good night, and bye-bye!